Hi all, myself Shreya Swaj. You are watching the Coding Point, and in this video, I will talk about formatting, what formatting is, and what you could do using formatting and so on. So without any further delay, let's start. So what I mean by the word formatting is how the text or how the images looks like in your site. Uh, like it could be italic, it could be turned into bigger font, lower font, it could be turned into strong and it could be turned into big or small. So I will show you all each and every formatting tag. So first I will write formatting while creating a file and name it formatting.html so I believe th yeah it's okay so now what I would do is I would create or open the live preview and I would write the basic html code I would write the title formatting and now we could start using the formatting tags there are many formatting tags I would like to start with the big and small formatting tags but like for example this is a sample heading. So now I want to make the word sample look big or bold. So what I would do is I would use the big tag. Big and I would write the same here. So you could see here the word sample has had turned much bigger than it was before. So after the big tag I would like to talk about the small formatting tag. The small formatting tag makes the word small or it could also contain words not only words. Here I would write the same this is a sample. I would just copy it so now I want to make the sample small so what I would do is I would write small and inside these two opening a small tag I would add the, my word sample so now as you could see in the result it has turned much smaller than it was so now after the big and small tag comes the italic and bold tag the italic and bold tags are used to make a particular word italic or make a particular word bold I would copy the same text so now I want to make this sample look bold so I would do it like this and then I would cut the following word and paste it right here so it looks much bolder I don't think you could see it here in effect but you would surely see it in effect if I write the same in a paragraph tag so yeah as you could see now the word sample looks much bolder than the all the other words so after the uh, after the bold tag comes the italic tag it makes a certain word of a certain paragraph or heading look in the italic form or look italic like this and I would make this italic italic and then I would I I would add the sample word in this so you could see here it's written in an italic font so after the big small bold italic comes the strike through tag and the insert tag first I will tell you what the strike through tag is the strike through tag is used to show or tell the user that this word has been deleted or has been strike, strike through because we do it usually when we want to cancel out some word like for example this is a para 
so the sample what i would do is i would create a strike foot tag and then inside the strike through i would add the sample word you could see here it has been cut from the middle or it has been strike through so yeah so after the strike through i would like to tell you about the insert the insert tag is used to insert certain elements this is a certain elements in a web page like for example ins the insert closing tag and the insert opening tag so yeah now it has been underlined so it simply means that it has been added and the site would know that this word has been added so after the insert comes the delete tag so the delete tag works the same way like the insert but this tag tells the site uh, tells the browser that this word has been deleted like for example this is a a sample tag and here i would add the delete tag tell and then i would add the sample word between the opening and the closing delete tag and now it gets the same effect as the strike through but the browser would know that this word has been deleted so after the delete tag comes the underline tag the underline tag looks the same way like the insert tag but it is only used to underline and it doesn't denote any kind of other code like delete and all and in here i would as i like this the code for the underline is a simple u and it has been underlined it's that easy so so here we come to the to the end of our video uh, i would be making the next video soon until that stay safe stay happy keep learning